Woo, there we go, it's just that. Hello traders, it is the 9th of October 2017. It's a Monday, you got love a Monday. Um, I had quite a successful Monday so far. Uh, what have I done? Got up early, did my exercises, been working all day. Uh, obviously getting around to my trading stuff now. Yeah, it's all good, man. Love a Monday. Um, I've called this one a health kick. A um, couple of reasons, really. Um, number one, I've actually been uh, in my June review. I do a review every six months. Well, I say I do that like I do it every six months. I've only just started doing it. I did it in this June, so I keep moving the camera. Uh, and it, I, I kind of just noticed in that that I've, I've been focusing on lots of other things, but not so much my health. So um, since then, I've been doing quite a bit of running and some ex uh, to like exercises, sit-ups, that kind of stuff. And it's been going um, pretty well, really. So I'm very happy with that. Now, the other side of it is that on the weekend, I had two fry-ups. And this is one of them um, down here, which was absolutely fantastic. I didn't eat the fried bread, but I literally ate all the rest of it. Um, so, yeah, and then I had another one. That was on the Sunday. I had another one on the Saturday. So bad, 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 bad form. But in general, things are going well on that front. So kind of ironic post there. Um Yep, so that was Friday morning. Uh, what did we get up to? Sorry, that was Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Friday, I had a bit of a brainstorming session with uh, Virgil, speaking to him over in um, over in Mallorca, which was awesome. I had a few beers, chatted through some things. After that, I then got a bit drunk and had a bit of a mix on the uh, on my decks there, uh, which was quite cool. I don't know if you can see all those there. Anyway, yeah, there's... Yeah, former career. I'm trying to bring that back another way. Uh, and then all of Saturday I spent, uh, well, I'll say all of it, four or five years, <laughs> sorry, four or five hours working on this new new project I've got, new idea I've got, which is coming together. I'm actually dying to start sharing some of the kind of entrepreneurship orientated stuff on here, but I'm just not really at a place when I can do it yet. But, um, you know, the kind of things I've been setting up. So basically I set up a lead page, um, uh, and you know, so I had to put together everything. So that's what I was doing on Saturday. So that's there, looking okay now. Um, so I'm I'm going to push that forward, get a market test out shortly. Uh, then I got completely bored, and I went up to London to visit uh, another couple of pals, and we had a good old drink up there as well. Uh, went to a gig of an artist I used to love, uh, artist called Jest, hip hop artist. Gig wasn't all that to be honest. It was great to see my pals. Also, I love it. I mean, it takes me. I live. I live like well far out in the sticks now. So it takes me half an hour. Well, let's say it takes me about an hour, hour and a, hour and a half, say to get to get to North London. So on that time, I'm on the audio books, having a beer, you know, learning. I love all that stuff. Sorry, just watching my daily profit just slip there. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I love. I love trains, yeah. I like um, something else I've been doing with my running as well is that I've literally turned it into kind of a like a university run is kind of how I think of it because I'm always listening to audio books as I do it. So it's like not only do I feel like I'm doing something for my health, I feel like I'm learning as well, and I love I love all that. Uh, so with that in mind, yeah, I just finished a book called Side Hustle, um, which was all about um, starting uh, businesses, projects on the side. Uh, whilst you're working so obviously it fits in quite well with me I was happy to say that I, I felt I knew a lot of it but um, a lot of the, you know a lot of the time you just get the odd little idea from these books and that's I, I still find that valuable so I mean the book costs what 10 12 quid which I buy it twice no, say 15 quid all in with the audio as well um, yeah and then you get you know I, I always get some nuggets out of it so I finished that I've now moved on to this one pivot which I forgot I bought um, so yeah, I mean, a lot of these books make some quite bold claims there, yeah, you know, so uh, where does it say it? Yeah, the art and science of reinventing your career and life. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of kind of, it's quite a bold claim, isn't it? You know, you, you always get that with these books. But again, I'm just nugget hunting, you know. Um, and I think what the way I approach it is the more and more of these books I read, the more kind of common things which I find um which you can kind of implement you know like something i found um well for instance one successful people it seems to be quite common across all these books that they you know they're always writing things down on notepads and making notes and working on ideas so that starts to get into your mind and then you're kind of like um there's another one you know that they quote most of them have some sort of morning routine and ritual that sets them up for the day 
Yeah, well, you know, so there's another one. So I look for the kind of common bits and then maybe implement off the back of that. But anyway, that's that. Uh, five minutes already still yakking. Uh, yeah, another thing I'm looking into is I'm looking into match betting, which is something a friend of mine's um, been trying to uh, get me involved with for ages and ages. And I keep going, yeah, yeah, sounds good and not doing anything about it. Anyway, I'm now starting to research that uh, as another kind of income stream. See where that goes. Uh, mainly just research at the moment. Obviously live research, though. I'm not going to mess around not doing that. Uh, then burnt by the burn. Yeah, okay, so now we can move into some trading type stuff. Yeah, I was really annoyed with um, a trade that I had open. No, it wasn't silver, although we'll come back to that. Uh, I had a burn trade, and I got taken out on the wick. Really annoying. I was long the burn here. I think I got long about here, and I got literally taken out on that little... Wick there, very, very disappointed I was with that. Made me hurt. In fact, I'm so disappointed with it, I haven't actually logged it because I can't. Well, I have logged it. I've, I've, I haven't logged it. I've closed it because I'm too sad. <laughs> uh, but I will obviously because I'm not. Um, I'm not cheating. I just, uh, I just can't. I, just, I don't know what it is. This one trade's really upset me, so I better not go near it for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, that was burnt by the burned. Uh, what else have we got on? Right, so let's jump into the normal weekly insight type stuff. So uh, we, I've talked through a lot of this. Um, so positions which I've got open. So let's have a look at that. So I've got oil as open, uh, which I got filled on. Oh, yeah, I was happy with my entry on USO uh, last week. So, um, yeah, the trade, I've moved the stops to break even now, but the trade was on the lines of entry here. And uh, stop. I don't think I went for the full stop. I had this here. So when I was looking at the trade, we were sat kind of like, uh, where were we? Like there, I think we were. And I just said to myself, right, okay, this looks like it's rolling over. I've got a reasonable sell signal down here. Where would it pull back to? And I just said, well, 51 is the obvious number, isn't it? And uh, it went down a little bit more, and I'm thinking, yeah, maybe that trades, you know, but I'll leave the order there. Then it did that. And for once, my timing, my, my, I'm doing pretty well there. I mean, if we go down to, say, a four-hour, nothing too insane, but you can see here it just clipped up there nicely and has rolled over. Now, the key thing here is that I haven't actually got any money out of this trade yet. It's, I, I haven't got any risk on the table, which obviously I love, but um, I need it. Well, I need it. I'd like it to keep running. Um Something I'm considering doing is one of the, one of the things we've been doing in my group with the trend continuation trading is um, taking off half the position at a specific point. I'm considering doing that with this uh, with these as well. The only problem I have with this is that I need to run some maths on it because it's less likely to actually activate. So if I take it off, if I take half the profit off too early. I might start ruining my numbers, so I need to do a bit of maths on that. But yeah, I mean, so far so good. I say the key thing for me is that um, I I'm at break even, um, uh, and y you know I could quite happily move my stop to about here, but I'm expecting the market to pull back to fifty and hop over it a bit. So I'm just going to leave that for a day or so and see what happens. Of course, if the market completely stalls on me, I'll have to squeeze it up a bit and try and get a bit of profit out of it because at the moment it's not doing anything. But yeah, always happy to have a trade there. Uh, what else have I got going? I've got US 30 uh, long on. So this is a tre trend continuation trade. Um, so that was on the four hour. Um, for those of you that trade the same way I trade, you'll recognize this, although my charts aren't, the, the moving averages aren't the same. Uh, aren't the same on this particular one, but you get the idea here. So a uh, little retracement and then pop through. I was quite fortunate, I guess you could say, with the you know the move in the market here. It moved up, got my first position closed out. Uh, so that got me to break even, and now I'm up 0.13 percent. So I have got um, in total 0.3 percent up on that trade. Um, no, I'm not. I'm point. I'm about point two five up on that trade. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'd take quarter of a percent. Why not? Uh, obviously, what I really wanted to do is to knob about here a bit more and then pop up. But you know, we have had a bit of a run here, and we could be overextended here on the daily. 
Um, again, we're not really looking at the right charts, but we're moving away from the moving averages. And you can see here, it starts to pull back into this zone quite often. So uh, yeah, I might be out of that trade soon, but hey, uh, you know, some money, some money. Uh, if it keeps rolling, then that is great. So that is me for open trades. Um, yeah, so I, that's just led me into this other point here that I was going to make was, I'm in a nice routine with my trading at the moment. I think I'm trading less. I think I'm being really... Uh, when I'm being really picky, I'm, I mean, I think I'm actually being appropriately selective and that's helping me. Um, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of, nah, crap, 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 crap. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll have another look at that, now, nah, crap. Uh, which is something I've always tried to do, but I think I'm in a bit of a groove with it at the moment. And a little bit of that, I think, is something to do within myself is that I'm getting interested in other things, yeah? So, um, you know, like my these projects I got on the side, they're starting to drag some of my energy uh, away and uh, without trying to sound too hippie or anything I find you know I get quite obsessed with the trading you know I'm looking at it all the time I want it to work you know all that kind of crap uh, and having other things which are kind of like now I'm starting to oh, I want it, I want those to work I, it's making me a little bit nonchalant more nonchalant with my trades love that word um yeah so 11 minutes so anyway i'm just saying that maybe having a nice shiny new toy to look at is, is actually a good thing when it comes to trading so we've done the open trades this week actions don't need that in there ongoing market notes so not lots of stuff in here uh let's talk about some of the um bullish jappy uh jappy yen trades so i'm looking at this short this is starting to roll over short um Keeping an eye on it there. Have we got any kind of trend thing? Yeah, no, I mean, it's more just kind of a general support and resistance, isn't it? So, I mean, you've got some support uh, there, resistance, support, whatever, same old thing. Um, yeah, that could, I mean, if that does roll, you're in for, you know, where would we get filled? About there, maybe. So you'd have maybe 180 pip stop. You'd be hoping to get through. Yeah, so, you know, I, I'm sure you could squeeze a better triple r out of that um what i have been doing with these kind of trades though is i'm 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 waiting similar to the oil trade i'm really trying to wait for it to make its move and then retrace yeah um because when it starts flattening out like this you just, it's just kind of you don't know what's going on and then one bit of news and you're off you know like this one moved quickly right so we had one two three days maximum where it wasn't sure then it's down you can argue here that we've been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, maybe two weeks. We've been kind of not really sure what we're doing in here, um, which makes it less valid because the market's confused. Uh, so that's on that one. Now, CAD Jappy is another one. I keep calling it Jappy. CAD Yen. I don't even know if Jappy's politically correct, but um, I just certainly don't mean any bad by it. So this is one I was keeping an eye on. I was dying to short it when I saw this, but then it just didn't, okay, you could guess it kind of popped there, but I, I didn't, it wasn't enough for me, so if there was any, if I was going to have re-entered here, it would have been about there, but the problem with it here, for my money, oh, you can't see it, sorry, um, so I was saying, when the market popped down like this, that's where, you know, I could have looked for a retracement, but for my money, it hasn't gone over enough, because um, I've seen it so many times, it kind of does this, and then continues on up, so then it does that, and that's where you get filled, which admittedly, the way the market's got at the moment would be a great, great price. But I've seen it just so many times it does that and then just continues, yeah? So I don't like it until, um, until it, you know, I'm really looking for it to kind of get down to somewhere like here, you know, so it kind of moves down like that. Same as the oil, and then play it back to this 90 level and then go short. As it is, we have broken this level, but it's not, it's not very, it's just not very overwhelming, you know, it doesn't, um, it's not filling me with confidence. Um, so I'm leaving that uh, aside. Uh, GBP was another one, which I believe has moved GBP in, um, which I sat out of for the same reason, actually. So that was a bit poor. Um, so what could I have done here a little bit better? So I, I still wouldn't have done it then. I still wouldn't have taken it then. Um, I still wouldn't then because it's lame. So I still need that big move. So that's that's the move as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so I guess I would have been looking for a pullback to 149. 
Ooh, did I miss that? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't have made 149, or it hasn't yet. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, using my logic, I could still definitely have an order there um, and just see if it pops that 149 level. Uh, again, so that'd be 149 with a stop maybe about there. Uh, with the intention of getting down there. But you see, then your brain starts conflicting with you. Because yeah? look at this support here. So you've got support. One, two, three. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and, you know, we're here now. So it's more than possible that this, you know, a lot of traders will be viewing this as a, ooh, it's broken out now. There's the pullback. There's your buy zone. So you're straight into, whilst, you know, I don't really, um, you know, I don't have a problem with, you know, this strategy doesn't really need you to, to watch out for resistance, but it's something that I, I do like to do. So I'm just putting the other lines on it. So, you know, there'll be a traders here selling off here, and then they bought here, and then they, you know, they've sold off here at this high, and then they've, they bought here off of this low and then oh yeah you know some would have sold off there but ah oh, it's actually continued it's broken out so loads of people would have said this is broken out of this channel now and it's pulled back so the, you know there's evidence for what i'm saying is there's evidence of the trade bullish and um, bearish um and just when i'm evaluating it despite the fact i think it could easily pop to 49 and go south i think it could also completely reverse here so uh, it's not it's not one for me really um personal opinion uh yeah 16 minutes a bit of a long one right i'm going to keep rattling on i don't want to show you everything i'm just showing you a couple of things i'm looking at mouse you're going to behave today uh silver yeah that was on the screen when i first opened up so silver's been taking a hammering but it looks like it's turning around to me i'm really keeping an eye on these signals here um yeah it's a tricky one to play because i like that pullback um yeah i'm not i'm not sure how i'm going to play it really but i am going to definitely uh keep an eye on it so yeah i mean you could we could do a, a kind of trade about there for entry and then stop i'd probably go about there i don't i wouldn't cover the whole of this tail now um but having said that that's what just caught me on there uh, good so maybe i'm not learning enough so all right let's hide behind a zero as well so you could do that and then you probably got the intention of getting up to here, I would have thought. Uh, so let's have a look. Our odds are 35 pips to, so say, 33 and a half to one, uh, which is probably a good enough trade. Um, but again, you're relying on that pullback. Um, I might take that trade. I'm going to... Um, make a note of that now actually i might put that on i'm just putting that in the uh potential trade uh a couple of trend sorry you can't see what i'm seeing uh, a couple of trend continuation things i'm already basically indices indices are, are running like or have been running pretty pretty strongly i mean look at the FTSE. christ Ooh, I, I i sigh because i'm short the FTSE. um yeah so all that's going on over there um so I don't really want any more of that because I've already got that. Um, and then and these are just my notes, which I'll fill in across the week. Because as I say, I update this as I go. Uh, news events. So nothing today. Um, Bank of Japan doing stuff. Um, Thursday. Oh, oh, no, I don't know what Thursday is. I was going to say Thursday would be a big one. Oh, Draghi's um, saying stuff. So always a winner. So not, not loads of news. I'd be wary of that ECB stuff because uh, that always seems to... Um, cause a problem um but yeah that's that thank you to daily effects for it for the uh for where i lift these from should always shout out anyway that's probably it for me i hope your trading's going well that's 20 minutes of your life you won't get back so i hope you did get some information out of it uh, i can only assume if you've made it this far that you either a love me or b um get something out of it um or hopefully see a bit of both i don't know anyway i'm gonna leave it there make sure you get a fry up uh, apologies if anyone's a vegetarian. Um, I am all for animal welfare as well, and it's something that's continually plague on my country uh, currently. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Love you lots. Live the dream. Have loads of fun. Trade safe.